cold, it is cold this morning. Look at the cloud. Yeah, but last night, at midnight and then at five o'clock this morning, was an earthquake. Brought down that little building there. And in the next village along, a uh, house. It was it in, um, what was the village that you said a house had come down in? Perishay. But we felt it, didn't we? We woke up and we were like, Christ, know, what was what that? What the hell is that? I mean, we were in, that was our room there. And the whole, I mean, this is a brick building, and the whole thing just went in there. Com the completely shaking, room. yeah. They don't seem bothered, do they? I think it must happen all the time. Yeah, they just said to us that at the next place we get to, which is Thuckler today, just stay in a small hotel, don't stay in one of the big ones. So it could happen again in the next 24 hours. Yeah, 24, next. next 24 hours are crucial, but they're, they're, everyone seems fine about it. And but yeah, carry on as normal. They do not seem bothered. They reckon it was about a five or six on five the scale? Or six, yeah, something like that. But this is unseasonal, so let's get out of this. Cause yeah, it's it is really cold. So believe it or not, Dingwish is down there. Somewhere. We climbed all the way up there yesterday, and the camera focuses, and uh, had clear views down. Yeah, it was crystal clear, wasn't it? Yeah, now, look at that. And it is cold in the cloud. It is chilly. This is the coldest day. Yeah. But just walking out the village, there was quite a few, well, not quite a few, there were some walls that had come down. Just little bits and pieces, it was nothing. I don't think it was a big deal. Yeah. I don't think they're not worried. It's, it's beautiful though with the, the sunlight and the clouds. But we are getting, I think it's enveloping us now. Yeah, <laughs> it's chasing us. Let's get to the top of the ridge. Yeah. Before, I think it stops at the top of the ridge, the clouds. Lovely views again. It's nice and flat for a little while. I'm just outrunning the clouds. This is a film award ceremony and they will be in the Guinness World Records for at the highest altitude. So there we go, world record for the highest altitude film awards and we've just been prime audience members. Chris was even cameraman. <laughs> you never know what you're going to come across on the Every Space Next Trek. Today, today's been an interesting day. Yeah. Two earthquakes and a... Uh... Two earthquakes and a film ceremony. <laughs> and a Guinness World Record. And a Guinness World Record. <laughs> Let's go get some lunch. Starving. So after we've recovered from our movie experience, we've just come for a little bit of a walk around... Uh, Near the guest house, I think there's a bit of a river down the here, isn't there? I think um, so, yeah. I don't know if there's a, some peaks we can walk up to. Still a bit of a cloud going, knocking around, and it's really cold when you're in it. But, as always, lovely views and mountains. <laughs>